All right, YouTube, what's going on? Matt Kennedy here. Happy April 8th. Happy Solar Eclipse Day. Hopefully, you're able to watch it at some point wherever you are. It is a, I guess, very important part, um, you know, in the world today because it's just, if you do care about science and all that stuff, um, you're not really going to get a day like today for many days to come. So I'm going to watch it with my family here coming up after this video um, and pretty much just expect a stream later in the afternoon um right now though it is about 1 40 p.m and uh pretty much what's going to happen is uh the things are you know live uh so let's go over the abilities the x factors things like that obviously we have sold most of my team only because um i just thought everything was just so high uh, Ted Hendricks was unable to sell for 700k. What a sell that would have been. Honestly, it's okay because I think we kind of could use him in the middle of the field anyway. With you know him and Zayvon Collins being so tall and so good anyway, uh, I'm okay with that. But we were able to sell um, Harold Carmichael, which is important before Scary Terry dropped today. Uh, looks like Aaron Donald's back down to 1.1. Um, we'll see if he goes back up a little bit. Um, I mean, it's pretty hard to lose coins. I mean, we bought him for 990. So as long as he's 1.1, I get my coins back, which is just breaking even. And 1.15 and above is like profit. Even if it's like 50,000 coins, that's still profit. So I don't really care that much about it. I mean, obviously I want the best for it, but... I really hope we make profit, but if we don't make the biggest profit ever, I mean, it is what it is. Um, besides that, I mean, every single auctionable card pretty much sold for my team. The thing about the combine cards that I may regret is they still boost your entire team. So I just don't think we're going to see that in other cards for like maybe the rest of the year. So those combine cards, like, you know, Tariq Woolen does it. Obviously, down here, McFadden does it. You know, those two cards, I mean, obviously, I can still boost with those two cards. But them boosting the entire team was probably a mistake by EA Sports. Because it just made those, val like, it just makes those cards so powerful. Um, Let's go ahead and go over the cards in the catalog here. So, my items, catalog. Here are the new cards and their abilities. First off, we're going to go over Bob Goth. Gallic, does he get the free inside stuff or is it 1 AP? It looks like he gets free unprintable, which is not bad at all. His inside stuff is 1 AP, not 0 AP. EA Sports, they always find a way. Oh my God, dude. He does get three buckets though. He gets three buckets, which is weird. Um, his X factor though is what? Fearmonger. Yeah. Fearmonger is just not really that good. Um, Ed Too Tall Jones had that one. I would say this card's a complete L. I mean, it's not really that bad of a card. It's just it's not gonna be, you know, mean Joe Green or Aaron Donald or whatever. Um, Ed O'Neill, I really want a mid zone KO. What is his X Factor? Dual Threat is pretty good. Um, that's pretty much universal coverage. So he would be able to have like any like man coverage, mid zone, deep zone, flat zone. Uh, also, it's pretty much unstoppable force combined. So that is an S tier for sure. And then does he have secure tackler as a W for zero? And Lurker, I, I would honestly say this is one card I may actually get myself. Um, I'm not really sure how to add. Uh, he gets three buckets too, so. Which is good. But I would do free secure tackler, helps the tackling versus the angry runs or whatever. He has the free Lurk artist. And then if you want any KOs, he has dual threat for zero, not one. So I don't really know how you activate it though. We'll figure that out later, but definitely that was like a, like an S-tier player to me. I don't know. 
Um, going over the other one, John Amos obviously has to be angry runs. If not, it's unmatched. He gets threat detector for zero. Which, I mean, like I said, I mean, that's not really that bad. It's not the one I thought it would be. It's not angry runs, but definitely it is something decent. Backfield master for ones, not horrible. Free jukebox is not horrible. It's not free evasive, but to be fair, juice is way better than spins anyway. I would say this card is pretty damn good, but I would still say angry runs, Bo Jackson's better. But I do like the threat detector. Okay. Now let's go ahead and see the other cards here. Um, we have Scary Terry, who right now is very expensive. I saw like over a million coins already, which is kind of stupid. Um, he has yak him up, double me, third down threat. I would just do yak him up. And then does he get three buckets or two buckets? He gets two buckets, one AP route tech, still not zero AP, zero AP red zone threat. Um, I really don't mind zero AP evasive or zero AP runoff elite. So he gets two, two zero AP. I would not use route tech. I would definitely do red zone threat or evasive. Just use the zero AP ones. So, not really that bad, but, I mean, I would not spend well over a million coins for it, though. There's just so many receivers in the game. Um, now we're going to go over, um, if we can find them here, geez louise. Um, here they are, Kirk Cousins and Cam Jordan. So, Kirk Cousins looks like run and gun. Is it pass lead? It is pass lead. But, obviously, it is on and off. Fearless for zero, I think, is also one that's really cool. Um, so I do like fearless for zero. Pass lead, it's not bad, but like when you don't have the velocity, it sucks. Um, let's go ahead and see what ability he gets. Set feet lead for one is nice. I do like that. I would probably go set feet lead for one. Gunslinger for zero. That's only one AP, but then where's your hot rock? You know, I mean, I would go fearless for zero. I mean, that's a really good stack for one AP. Fearless. I mean, it's on and off fearless, but you get fearless on and off. Free slinger. And I mean, even if, even though fearless is not all game, it's still really worth it. So, I mean, because fearless is expensive. I mean, it's very important. You have pressure in the pocket, you know, whatever. The only problem with this card is really two things. I would say three things. Number one, his speed's not elite. But to be fair, I mean, you can't be that picky. He has everything else maxed out besides his speed. I would say, first of all, I want to see what his boosts are too. Can I even see what his boosts are? Perfect. So just for having the first component, wow. Holy smokes. Pretty good. What? Yeah, I'm about to admit it, Mom. Yeah. All right, yeah, we're going outside for the clips right now. So, yeah, I mean, like, I don't know, dude. I honestly feel like these boosts are pointless. Spin, Jew, Cod, Agility. Why are there no throwing stats for Kirk Cousins? Why why is there no speed? Yeah, honestly, I think they ruined it, dude. I mean, I first of all, my photo's in the way. Hold on. I would just say overall, dude, like, why are there no speed upgrades? You gotta at least give a plus one speed at least. That's honestly horrible. That may be the tiebreaker for saying, hey, look, maybe it's a pass. It's not really that bad for a pocket passer with free fearless and one, one AP set feet lead is pretty much like tied the best. Uh, Cameron Jordan, he does get unstoppable force, which is really good. That's what you want to see. Relentless is not that bad. Colossus for zero is honestly pretty good as well. So by far the best X fact. I wanted free inside stuff, free outside stuff. There's the free outside stuff. Enforcer Supreme's not horrible, but I would rather have Secure Tackler. 
I would say he was very close. I mean, I mean, you can still get unstoppable force, free no outsiders, and a free enforcer supreme. It's not, I mean, I would not use your free one on it, but like, dude, all I'm trying to say is that's kind of what it is right now. Now let's go over the market really quick uh, before we get out of here in about a minute. Um, the question is, are we going to see any market drop with the free AKA stuff? So let's go into just wide receivers in general. We already dropped Scary Terry. Are we seeing a drop? Nico Collins was 420 yesterday. Now he's 380. Um, let's go into just the AKAs program, AKA Cruz. Ama St. Brown, I sold him for 570. Now he's already 500K. I mean, I would still give it like a half hour, an hour, like 2 30, 3 30, 4 o'clock. It's still just past the drop of AKAs. I, th I mean, Scary Terry's still too, I mean, 2 million for that. That's kind of whatever. But, you know, we'll see. I mean, I know for sure the market really shouldn't go up any more than what it's been. It's a matter of, is it going to crash or just stay the same? So I'll see you guys later for my stream. We'll go from there. Um, all in all, that's my player analysis on those cards. Would I get anyone? Like, like I said, dude, Kirk's not that bad. I don't even think Cam Jordan's that bad. Like, they are good cards. I wouldn't really complain about them. It's just, I don't know if I would use my free token on them. So hard pass for me. Will I pick them up on my team? Again, it depends on the price. We'll see where they're at in an hour or two. Bye, guys. Take care. Peace.